Hello fellow Robloxians! This video will teach you how to make a chat title system on Roblox. In my opinion, there is little code to be written. However, it does involve somewhat advanced scripting. You're more than welcome to use the scripts in the description, but I will do my best to explain the process so that you can follow along. Let's start! Here I've opened up a blank new place file and the first thing I want to do is right click the chat service, insert object and select a module script. I'll be naming this module script title module with a capital M. And the reason for this module script, well, okay, unlike a server script and a local script, um, it doesn't run when the f game first starts, however, its functions will run if they're called upon. And in our case, it's just an easy way to access the directory. So first of all, let's set a variable of a service that we're going to be using, so local ms equals game colon get service marketplace service with a capital M and capital S. Skip a line and finally make our game pass directory. So local game passes equals curly braces and brackets. Inside these brackets we need a game pass ID. So if you have a place with a game passes set up, just go to the store tab and open up uh, a link of your game pass and copy the ID. So now that we've got the ID inside the braces, I mean the brackets, set it equal to curly braces and title equals, for example, um, VIP, comma, priority, let's set priority to one for now. Priority equals one, comma, color equals color three dot from RGB. And inside these parentheses, we need an RGB value. So a quick way to do that is like insert a part into the workspace and just edit its color property and copy and paste that value into those parentheses. So now that we've got the game passes directory, we can easily make the player directory. So local players instead of game passes and inside these brackets, we want a player ID. It's probably easier to use your own so you can try it out. So copy and paste your player ID and paste it inside those brackets. Now I'm going to change the title to owner and let's change the priority to 5 for now. I'll explain them a bit more later on. Oh. <laughs> and I'm going to change the color to like reddish lilac. Alright, inside those parentheses paste the color and then now we're finally going to work on our function. So what I'm going to name this function is function send info and inside the parameters we want player and press enter. Now first let's set another variable so local title e no local info equals nil and then local priority equals zero so it starts off at zero and now we're going to make a loop to go through our directories so. Um, the game pass first, so for key value, for key comma value in pairs, parentheses, game passes, do if ms, short for marketplace service, if ms comma player owns asset, parentheses, and now according to the wiki this requires two parameters, we need the player as well as the asset id of the game pass. So we already have the player right here, so we can already write down player and comma key because this key is the game pass ID. Now, if ms uh, colon player owns asset player key and value dot priority, so it's referring to this. If one is greater than the priority already. The priority already set, which is zero, is if it's greater than priority, then info equals curly braces, um, title equals value dot title, comma, color equals value dot color. So it sends, this right here is a value, and the color is right here, so that's what it sends, that's, that's the color and that's the title. 
aside from setting the info variable, we also need to change the priority. So priority equals value dot priority. So after it runs that game pass directory, it pri its priority changes to one. Now let's make a new. Okay, if it passes that game pass directory and it has that game pass, then this person's priority value right here is already one. However, we want another loop to go through uh, the directory of players. So change the game pass to players after copying that code. Instead of player owns asset. Let's take that off and instead use if player dot user id equals to so equal signs if it equals the key so if it equals that and value dot priority is greater than priority that's the same as uh, the other one we don't really need to change anything in there but basically let me explain this process to you so say I have this game pass, and so it runs through this, and then it realizes, oh, I do have that game pass. It sets my priority to 1, because the priority of that is 1. However, now it runs through the player's directory. And since my priority is 1, and the priority of this owner title is 5, the owner title will show up instead of the VIP priority, because the VIP title, because its priority is lower. So that's all set. Before the last end, let's return um, info, because that's the information we need. We need info to be returned by that function, however we also need to return send info in the parentheses, because that's the function of this module script. We would set this, di we would set this up differently if we had multiple functions, but we only have one, so that's all we have to worry about. It's finally time to edit our chat script. So click on play. We need to copy everything inside the chat service except for the title module, which we already have. Click on stop and paste it back under the chat service. Now, what we need to do is expand client chat modules, expand message creator modules, and open up default chat message. Before this function starts on line 10, let's set a new variable, local title module equals require parentheses game comma get service chat dot title module so that's our title module right there it's in the right place now uh, around line 23 you should see local format username equals string format parentheses that is how your username is represented by default however we will be changing that in a bit so Make some space before that line and set new variable. Local info equals um, title module and we have a parameter. In this case, what we need to send is a player. And how we want to get the player here is uh, inside the parentheses right game co colon get service players and then colon find first child to string from speaker. So that gets us the player. Now we want to set the, we want to declare this local format username variable first without setting it to anything. And we want to take away this local right here. Now let's make some space under the declaration of that variable. And if info then return else return. Let's copy this old format username line and paste it under else. And we kind of want to change the format of the username. So in this case, um, the percentage sign, this S represent the name of the player. I want to take away these brackets and then copy and paste them under if info then. So what this what this does is if info then if if we get info back instead of nil if the player either has a game pass or if its user ID is listed right here then we get the information we get the title we get the title as well as um, the color for that person so 
Since we have info, we should have info. So inside string dot format, let's write info dot title dot dot. And inside these quotation marks, let's make a space and use any character to uh, divide, to, to separate the title and the username. So that's set up. We've essentially modified the format username, and now we need to change the colors as well. Here it sets uh, username color and use chat color. We're just going to change that right, right here, so we don't have to look into any other scripts. Use name color equals info dot color, and then we'll use chat color equals info dot color. Now let's go back to our title module and look at this. I do have this. I do have that game pass, and I know that this is my player ID. And since this priority is five, I should get the owner title. Now let's click on play. And there I get the owner title with the color I chose for it. If I change the priority of uh, the VIP title to 6, I should get the VIP title instead. And it worked. Thank you for watching! If this video was helpful to you, please leave a like or comment down below if you're having any trouble. Subscribe for more tutorials and let me know what you'd like to make next.